Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons with a beautiful potato dish. Hello, in this video I'm going to be making a dish called uh, Pomme et Cresse. Uh, that's the French pronunciation, which is all Ponce obviously, because it's French. Uh, it's crushed potatoes. It's best done with new potatoes because they're a bit more waxy. Um, and it's not to be confused with smashed potatoes, which is where you run away there. Stay. Uh, which is more like a roast potato where you sort of smash them on a tray and roast them getting crispy. This is basically more like crushed with a fork or a masher with a dressing through it. Uh, I'm using capers and gherkins and tomato and herbs and things like that, but you kind of use whatever you want. But like nice, uh, flavoursome, extra virgin olive oil I think is preferred. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with it and I think you're going to really like this one. Okay, well we've got to cook these potatoes first, so just in a pan filled with cold water get them on the heat, a little bit of salt, pop a lid on so they cook nice and evenly and I just let them take as long as they take to cook, but I don't boil them too fast. But it gives us plenty of time to get this dressing ready. Um, and as I say, add, remove ingredients to your liking. The idea is it's just the dressing through it, but I really like tomatoes. So that's me doing tomato petals, taking out the core bits, the pulpy bit in the middle, and just dicing them up reasonably small into a bowl there's a couple of tomatoes there as usual I'll, I'll put the recipe in the description below but the um as i say it's not really an exact recipe red onion that's about a quarter of a red onion dice it up and then really chop it up finally run the knife through it for a minute other things that i like i like gherkins or cornichons and i like the sort of you know the little bits of acidity and saltiness that's going in this dressing it really really works well with the potatoes so we can go to gherkins those are capers god i love those things but they're a little bit big so again just give them a rough chop lemon juice plus the sort of the the pulpy bit that was inside the lemon parsley a bit of dijon mustard give that a stir around and then we'll just add some olive oil and um this actually is really nice, you've got a bit left over. Just um, throw a bit of hot pasta, boil a bit of pasta up and just sort of chuck this through in a bowl. It's really, really nice. But there you go. Season it to your taste with salt and pepper. And that will also keep at least a week in the fridge. It'll marry. In fact, a couple of days later, it'll be even better. And uh, it's a quick video. I'm going to serve a bit of um, place for this. So I've got some skinned place for this, what I did earlier. I'm just sort of rolling them up and securing them and I'm going to use that dressing to sort of steam, sort of shallow fry steam, I don't know what you'd call it really because it's going to be done with the lid on but yeah a couple of good spoonfuls of that dressing, a bit more salt and pepper, pop a lid on that and that's just on the side, I'm not going to cook that yet, that's last minute, wait till these things ready. I think they took about half an hour but once you get a knife through nice and easy, drain them steam for a minute but I get them in a bowl I start with a masher it's a bit easier normally actually I would do this in the pan that I cooked them in but you wouldn't be able to see so that's why I use the bowl but I give them a, just a few presses with the masher um, you don't want this smooth like a pomme puree this is rustic it's like odd little sized pieces sometimes I go to the effort of peeling the potatoes after I've boiled them but I, I couldn't be asked really and um, I just go in with a fork and you can well you can see the texture it's looking rather nice isn't it time for the dressing and I'm sort of thinking do I need all of it it might be a bit much so I sort of put that in and I, I can always add more if I want and you can always add more but you can't take it away obviously so um, but that's looking really good have a taste yum finish it a bit more seasoning as I say, this is a French dish, and the French get very offended if you don't season food properly. And there we go, yeah. Serve it in a bowl, or however. Um, and that bowl now is in the fridge, and I assure you that when my missus comes home later on, she's going to put a big dent in that, and she'll probably eat it just cold. <laughs> but that's my place for it, it's only took a minute. And uh, I just assemble this uh, rather elegant looking but a very simple dish. Some crushed potatoes, a few green beans on there, like those. And uh, the place. And then, yeah, that, that dressing, that warm dressing is there. And I'm going to hand you over to me for the tasting. 
As always, excuse the absolute bomb site. Uh, this isn't a very professional setup, is it? Uh, let's have a go. So we've got this beautiful crushed potato here. Mm. Now it's just warm. I think it's better. That's I think just warm is my absolute favourite way to have this. As I say, it eats well hot, warm, room temperature and cold. It really is lovely. Um, this place does it rather nice as well. Let's have a, a little taste of that. Mm. Mm. But to be honest with you, this is the star. Let's have another go at that. Just... Mm. My other half, my lady, she's a connoisseur of potatoes, she's Polish, and she can't get enough of them, and that's definitely in her top three, I think she would say, probably mashed potatoes, and that might be number two, I'm not sure, but uh, anyway, um, I hope you like that idea, it's so simple, um, was it Thanksgiving coming up soon in America, so that, you know, that might make a really nice dish to put on the table, to share with whatever, your turkey or whatever, just a thought, anyway, um, Thank you ever so much for watching. Sorry I haven't made a video for a couple of months. Um, I got all excited because YouTube was recommending my channel and I was getting lots of views and I started making videos again and then it just dried up and completely stopped. Almost almost completely stopped. So it's ever so disheartening and frustrating. Come on YouTube. But um, you know, promote my channel a bit more please. And um, if you like my content as usual I would say if it works, commenting and putting a thumbs up, liking it. Um, sharing and that sort of stuff it would really be helpful and if you're watching on rumble obviously please all of the above for what i just mentioned on rumble as well the wonderful is a wonderful uh, platform that actually seems to quite like my channel anyway so um that's it i'll catch you again i don't know when hopefully quite soon and uh, yeah cheers bye mm.